10 great weekend scents. At the time that I filmed this video, the upcoming weekend is Memorial Day. So I decided to create a list of 10 fragrances that I would see suitable for that weekend. These 10 are gonna be best for like a celebratory kind of weekend. So whether you're on vacation or you're celebrating a win or something, these 10 will be great for that. And also about halfway through this video, I'm going to be doing a uh, unboxing here. I have a nice little package from Mr. George Zaharoff asking what's inside. He didn't tell me what's inside. I didn't want to know what's inside because I wanted to share the surprise with you guys. But on that note, let's get into it. And for everyone that's new here, I'd like to say thank you for taking out my channel and clicking on this video. Everyone that's been here for a while, welcome back. Number 10 on this list goes to a fragrance that is probably the best performing fresh fragrance that I have in my collection. It's loud, it projects, it has the initial notes of the frozen grapefruit. There are other citrus accords along with some water notes. It lasts anywhere from four to six hours strong. And for it being a fresh fragrance, that's telling. Number 10 goes to Doskiwana Light Blue Intense. Guys, when I say that this smells like a frozen cup of water, it's just so pleasant it's just so nice and i don't really give it i don't really care too much if people say that it's too generic because it's light blue i don't care i really enjoy it it's one that really pulls people in when they're around you from my experience it won't really offend anybody it, it made someone sneeze that i was near but that's about it but no one has smelled this and been like that smells bad at all now it is kind of a well-known dna so wearing this you won't smell necessarily unique but you will smell great and again that is dosi guana light blue intense and number nine is gonna be a fragrance that has you know certain darker notes this is more of a date night kind of fragrance it's one that's gonna be if you're going out for a date night on the weekend this would be perfect for it. especially if it's one of those dates where you're like at a movie and you're sitting by uh, by somebody this would be perfect for that because it doesn't project too well it doesn't last a long time but if you're going for a date for like two to three hours this is perfect. With top notes of grapefruit, coriander, and basil, heart notes of orange blossom, ginger, and cardamom, base notes of tobacco, amber, and cedar wood. The tobacco, cardamom, and grapefruit are what really pull me into this fragrance and, and make, make it enjoyable for me. But like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't project out the best, but like I said, if you're on a date and you're next to somebody and you're just kind of hanging out, this is a great one. It smells great. But now this does have the same issue with number 10. This has the uh, DNA that's been kind of been around for a little while. So you might like not smell necessarily unique with this, but you will smell great. And hopefully you're in an area where not a lot of people wear fragrances because you can pull this one off and rock it real well. Again, guys, that is Dolce Gabbana, the one EDP. Now number eight is going to be one that can be used for date night, daytime, pretty much any time during the weekend. But this is definitely more, in my opinion, more of a weekend kind of scent versus an, like an office kind of scent. It has its aquatic accords. It has its woodsy accords. It has its sweetness that's, that's to it. It really is one that really pulls you in is, and is a mega compliment getter. This would be a great one for if you're like on a date outside, kind of walking around. The sea in this is amazing. Number eight goes to Aqua de Joe absolute one of if not the best from the aqua Geo line um obviously the original is going to be way up here in terms of sales but in, ter in terms of scent this has more character to me than the original it's on par with profumo it's just a little more youthful th than profumo is um but still i still reach for this one very heavily and some say that the performance on this isn't the best but on my skin i get decent performance and number seven is going to be for the guy that doesn't necessarily wear fragrances at all really this one that is a compliment getter it doesn't smell like something that's going to be super niche it doesn't smell super unique it smells smells like a clean after the shower kind of fragrance which is really what it is it has that green apple note in it that just it's makes it such a good fragrance it's a uh, top selling on amazon if that tells you anything like i said it has its aquatic accords it has its fruit accords it has things that in there that make it you know something that that is generally speaking going to be going to be pretty crowd crowd appealing and crowd pleasing and a blue fragrance number seven goes to nautica voyage now this will be the cheapest one on this entire list everything else is going to be going kind of up there uh, but yeah guys this one you can't go wrong with it's definitely one that if you don't know what to reach for it's a great one to go for because you will smell very fresh you might not smell very unique but you will smell clean and crisp so when you're going out you know to dinner or whatever it is uh, on the weekend this is just an easy reach let's say that your wife's taking too long to get ready or you took too long to get ready and you don't have time to you know really pick out anything grab this go and number six goes way up in price i mean like you could buy probably a hundred of those no, you can buy like 20 of those. Anyways, this is a very expensive fragrance. It's one that I wore last night. It lasted me 12 hours of my shift, easy. I reapplied at lunch because it's something that is due. I didn't need to though. It, it, it was basically like I was layering this fragrance with something else. At around lunch, I put on Dior Sauvage and then I did my shift, I could smell this fragrance and Dior Sauvage, and it's like I was layering the two. They don't blend very well together, is, which is why it was so noticeable. But this fragrance has some of the best citruses in it, the, the mint that's in it. It all blends very well together and smells very high quality. Like each time that I smell it, all I can smell is just quality, high quality fragrance. <sighs> yes, it goes to Zerjoff Renaissance. Yeah, guys, look at this thing. This is the fresh you're going to go out and be uh, making power moves with. 
That's no joke, this stuff is powerful. Again guys, that is Zerzhoff Renaissance. And number five is gonna be the best, in my opinion, of this kind of fragrance for the summer, for the warmer weather, for like Memorial Day. This is gonna be great for that. Now, you could go with the other. I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. But I feel like this one is, is gonna be a fresher take, or it is a fresher take, and it's gonna be more appropriate for the warmer weather. It has this pineapple, it has this birch, it has certain aspects to it, like it has mint in there as well, minus the ambergris apparently. It is one of the most mass appealing DNAs that exist. Number five goes to Aventus Cologne. And guys, this is some of the best juice I've ever had my hands on. It is just so refreshing. It's like Aventus meets Versace signature. They had a baby, they get this. That's another thing, the cap on this is much better than the Aventus, the other Aventus that I have. But guys, the performance on this for me so far is great. It might not project out quite as far as Aventus does on, on my skin, but the longevity is there. The longevity, the scent profile is all top tier. And again, you guys, that is Aventus Cologne. Now we have an unboxing, guys. Uh, I should probably get a knife. And now we have a box to open up. Now, like I said, guys, I have no idea what is in here. I just know that it's coming from Mandor Taharoff. If you don't know who that is, I'll explain that here shortly. All right, so, open it up. Oh, no way. Ah, yo! Gravitas Porom. This is a fragrance by Mr. Smelly here on YouTube. So I'll have him here or here, and I'll have him linked down in the comments. But this is his fragrance that he released, guys. All right, and here we have the front of the box here, guys, with the Gravitas Porom here. The brand name is going to be Naughton and Wilson here. So it's not Mr. Smelly. This is the name of his brand here. Here you see that's 100 ml, 3.3 fluid ounces, extract de parfum, and that's made in England. Here it says as flammable. Do not use it near a naked flame. I don't, okay. But here are the ingredients. Top here, you're going to have the Naughton and Wilson symbol again. On the side here, it's going to have the Gravitas. I like, I like how that looks. It looks almost like, it, like it's a book. And here we have the bottle, guys. This thing is this thing is nice, man. You have a nice plaque here that says the Gravitas with a very cool looking... If you have, yeah, be careful here. It does kind of hold fingerprints. But, man, look at that shine. Good looking juice, too. Plaque right there up, up front there as well with Naughton and Wilson there. So it fits snugly, doesn't, it's not magnetic, it doesn't really click, it just fits snugly into place. So now I have not smelt this fragrance before, so it's gonna be an honest to God first impression. Good sprayer. Oh, that's classy, bro. This takes me back to like, this is exactly what I feel like he would release. This is good stuff. This is a more masculine kind of scent. It's gonna be something that, uh, it's a bit barbershoppy. Yeah, it's good. There's a certain citrus there that pops for me. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure the notes on this, but it's nice. Like I said, it's, it's gonna be more of a masculine scent. This is a, uh, a 25 and up fragrance, guys. But it's, it's not so hyper-masculine that it's like, I do have a few like this. Similar, not like, in, not necessarily the same scent or anything like that, but it's the same style of fragrance in my collection. I see myself wearing this when I, like, if I'm ever, ever wearing like, like a gray suit. Like if you guys have ever seen Mr. Smelly's channel, which, like I said, I will link down. Basically, what he wears is the perfect thing to wear when you're wearing this. Let's do it, this is very nice. I might make this my, my scent of the night tonight. Yeah, I work tonight at the hospital. I'm, I'm gonna toss this on and give it a full wearing. Yeah, that's very nice. George, thank you. Mr. Smelly, thank you. I, I hope you watch my channel. Uh, that'd be awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you again. Uh, this is an awesome creation you have here. But obviously, it's, it's my job as a reviewer to wear this and bring you guys and act my actual thoughts on this thing. But right now, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this opening. Guys, that is Gravitas Forum by Naughton and Wilson. And number four on this list goes to one of the most masculine, confident, inducing kind of fragrances that I have in my collection. It is a beast mode fragrance. It comes from the world of Zaharoff. It is such a great fragrance, guys. It is one of the most enjoyable. It has so many notes in this. Like, I'm gonna try to run the screen here of where these notes come from, but it has lavender, it has oud, it has everything under the sun in this thing, and it blended so well. Number four goes to Zaharoff Signature Oral. That's gonna be a fragrance where you're gonna go out with the guys, you're gonna go hang out at a bar somewhere. Not that it's boozy at all, that's not what it is. It's not that kind of fragrance. It's one that, that's gonna, when you walk into the bar, it's gonna make a statement. It's gonna be that that person is the most confident person in the room. That's what that fragrance kind of invokes. And if you wanted to kind of give off that vibe, it's a good one to go with. Again, guys, that was Zaharoff Signature Porom. Now, if you thought these Zahar of Signature Porom had a lot of notes in it, just wait to hear this one. With top notes of lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lime, lavender, thyme, artsima, and musk, heart notes of lily in the valley, may rose, jasmine, apple, black currant, base notes of galbanum, pink pepper, cyperol, vetiver, cedarwood, juniper berry, benzoin, vanilla, labdamum, leather, ambergris, musk. <sighs> That's a mouthful. You get one of the best blue fragrances that have been created thus far. You get one that has a very similar DNA to something that I've already mentioned on this list. It is chock full 
of notes, as you can tell, chock full of citruses, chock full of things that are gonna be things that reach out to make you get compliments. This is gonna be one that if you're wanting a blue fragrance, but you wanted it to be noticeable, this one you wanna go with. Now this one is a bit pricey. It is up there in price as well, but if you look at my description, you'll see where I have a link to a website where you can get these fragrances for a mega discount. I think this one on there is like 200 bucks off. Maybe don't quote me on that, but I know that is a significant amount off. You guys, number three goes to Roja Dove Elysium. Now I did just get this bottle in, but I did go through two separate decants of this fragrance before I bought it because I wanted to make sure. I do always suggest that, that you get decants before you get a full bottle. Let's say if you were to blind buy this and you don't like it, if you blind bought it with a decant, you'd be, you know, save yourself a lot of money. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this bottle real quick. And as you guys can see here, you'll see the Roja Dove down here with the Lucium up here. There's a nice little symbol here. The cap, you'll have the Roja Dove signature up top there. And on the back here, you'll have where it says a fragrance by Roja Dove made in England. And to me, this guys, this is such a good looking bottle. And it's, like I said, it's made in England. And you can kind of see, you can kind of see some influence here. I mean, great minds thing you like, right? But to be honest with you guys, the Gravitas Forum pops quite a bit more, in my opinion, than the Roja Dove. I mean, even though the, the cap on this is pretty cool, but this is kind of, you know what I mean? Anyways, guys, that was Roja Dove Elysium. And number two on this list goes to a fragrance that is significantly cheaper than the Elysium. Uh, it goes to one that will forever be on my weekend list because it is that nice to me. It, it has that grapefruit in the opening that just pulls you in. It has the florals there that have been made masculine, which I don't know how they did it, but they did. I don't think white florals would think masculine, but they did it with this fragrance. Grapefruit, other citruses, you have the musk, you have the white florals, you get what is a cost blanc. This is so pleasant, guys. It's like you take a grapefruit soap and you kind of roll it around with in, in some flowers. You get this. It's clean. It doesn't necessarily last too long, I mean, but Six hours, I mean, what like what more do you want for a fragrance? I mean, hopefully you're showering at some point today and you can wash whatever is on you off and put something else on. And this one will be great for the weekend, guys, without a doubt. This, this is honestly more, in my opinion, more of a weekend scent than it would be like, than it would be like a work scent. And again, guys, that is the cost block. Now, number one. Number one is gonna be one of the best fragrances that I have in my collection in terms of enjoyability for me. Is that a word, enjoyability? But it's gonna be one that it has a sharpness to it. It wakes you up in the mornings. It wakes you up in the evening. It projects out just enough with the spiciness that's in there that makes it a very confident getting fragrance. It's one that I will be wearing this weekend. Maybe now that I have some other stuff in, I might see what I can do. But like with this one, I'm so glad that I have a 200 ml in it. You get your notes of grapefruit, ginger, other citruses, the cardamom. It's just one of the best from the line. You get Loam Ultime, which here guys, as you guys can see, I have the 200 ml. And you know what? I'm gonna reference back to this video when I am out of this and I'm gonna like sob, sob real tears when this is gone. Guys, that is that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a safe weekend. Y'all like I always say, keep it gent and love your scent and I'll see you all next time.